Hi, Tom here. In this Circle and Art School video, start by drawing a horizontal line across your page towards the top. And then we can draw a vanishing point on the left and a vanishing point on the right at the far ends of the horizontal line. The next step is to draw a vertical line towards the left of the center of your page and below the horizontal line. And this will be the front corner leg of the table that we're drawing. And then we can draw the receding lines going to the left vanishing point, one at the top and one at the bottom of the vertical line, as they are parallel lines that are receding in perspective and therefore they'll look like they meet at the vanishing point. Next we can draw two more receding lines going to the right vanishing point, one at the top of the vertical line and then one at the base of the vertical line. You could use a ruler for these lines or just do them freehand. Next we want to have a line on the left which is vertical and parallel to the upright line that we originally drew and that will be where the table finishes on the left hand side. And then from the top of that line, we can draw a receding line to the right vanishing point. Then we can draw another vertical line, but this time on the right hand side to show where the table finishes on the right. And then we can use our vanishing point on the left this time to draw the edge of the table that goes to the left vanishing point. You might want to darken some of the lines as you go along of the actual table. Next, as we've got the surface of the table in two point perspective, then we can add a thickness to it by having a line go to the left vanishing point and then a line going to the right vanishing point. And that will create a thickness to the top of the table. Next we can draw the thickness of the legs of the table, start on the one on the right and then the table leg in the middle. And then the table leg on the left. Next we can use the front table leg in the middle and draw a guideline from its base on the left to the right vanishing point and then another guideline on its base on the right but this time to the left vanishing point. And this shows the shape of the base of the table leg. So using the left hand vanishing point we can draw another line from the table leg on the right to the left vanishing point and then another line from the table leg on the left to the right vanishing point. So we're slowly plotting out the base shape of all of the table legs. On the table leg on the left, we can draw another line to the right vanishing point from the other vertical, the vertical on the left hand side of the left table leg. And then on the table leg on the right, we can draw another line going to the left vanishing point but this time from the vertical line on the right of the right table leg. Then we can draw the vertical line of the table leg going up on the right. So that's one table leg down on the right. We've already got the central table leg and now we can add another vertical line on the left. So now we have three table legs. The fourth table leg, we've plotted where that goes. Where these lines cross, we draw a vertical line and then two lines following the guidelines for the base and then a vertical line on the left and a vertical line on the right. Next you might like to add a few things to the table. I think for my table I'm going to add a laptop. So the laptop will be parallel to the edges of the table and because it's a parallel shape with receding lines we can use the same vanishing points on the left and the right that we used for the table. So once you've perhaps placed a laptop, we could draw the screen of the laptop at the back and then maybe a little bit of shading 
So for this drawing, I'm using a 4B pencil, a little indication of where the keyboard goes. And with the side of the pencil, we could start with a dark shade and then just vary the pressure to get it dark and light and light and dark. So it has a sort of semi reflective quality to it. Then for the base of the laptop, we could just make that darker and that will create a thickness to it too. Next on my desk, I have a pencil pot with pens and pencils in it. So we could just draw a very basic pencil pot and then draw a few lines just to indicate some pens and pencils. I also have a lamp, an angle poised lamp, so I can draw that. Again, keeping it nice and simple, but just a simple shaped lamp. So now we have a basic table in two point perspective with a few objects on its surface. We could add some shading. So just using the side of the pencil, I'm going to shade all the shapes of the table which are on the right hand side. Table legs and then the thickness of the table too that can have a shaded area on the right hand side. So next we could probably erase some of the perspective lines, the guidelines that we no longer need. Once you've done that we could add to this drawing by putting it into a corner of a room. To do that, we could draw a line from behind the further back table leg going straight up and that would be the corner of the room. And then we can use the left hand vanishing point to draw a line to the right, which is behind the table legs. And then we can use the right hand vanishing point to draw a line on the left, again, which is behind the table legs. I think I'll make this left hand line stop about there and then add a vertical line. So in two point perspective, remember all vertical lines stay vertical. They don't get distorted at all. So I just work out how to draw a vertical line going up here. Something like that, so that'll do. Then we can use the vanishing point on the left to make a corner of the room. And then we can add another vertical line. And often I guess when I'm drawing vertical lines, I look at the other vertical lines in the drawing and try and match them up so that they all work together. Because in drawing, it's really useful not just to draw the bit that you're drawing, but to see how it relates to all the other bits too. And then we can just draw a line going to the left, but using the right vanishing point to get the angle of the line. And now we've got a floor. And for this floor, I use the left hand vanishing point and draw a series of lines which are parallel to each other. And are all receding to the left. A bit like floorboards, like floorboards on the floor. But I think I'll make them into a grid of tiles. Notice how these lines sort of fan out from the vanishing point on the left. So in perspective, there's lots of distortion. We can use the vanishing point on the right to draw another series of lines which are fanning out from the vanishing point on the right. So if each one of these was in real life a rectangle, you can see how perspective can distort things, but also it creates the illusion of depth in the drawing as well. And then I think I'll just shade in every other one to make a checkered pattern on the floor, just using a soft tone of the 4B pencil. If you'd like to learn more about drawing, please consider joining one of my online drawing courses. Just visit circlelineartschool.com. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.